Hey, what's up guys? Hey, before I begin the review, I just want to say this. Thank you so much for enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like my videos, comment down below, and overall, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss any new videos I upload pretty much every day. Man, from this episode, you can really feel the tenseness of the situation and not knowing what exactly is going to be the fate of our characters. So at the beginning of the episode, we are reminded that Prince Yangmyeon ordered the arrest of Haram. Nothing much happened. Um, I thought it was going to be a big fight, but in the end, Haram gets arrested and Chongi, she's shocked. She's crying. The fact that Haram is pretty much going to jail. And for Yangmyeon, he's sure that Haram is the one that murdered the soldiers in Mount Inwang. And yeah, he is. And Yang Myung, he wants to apologize for putting Haram in this situation. But for Haram, he goes on and says, you don't need to apologize because you've always picked me up when I was down. You don't need to apologize because I'm the one who's blind. So just really seeing that one-on-one -on -one between Yang Myung and Haram, it really shows the brotherhood that these two have or I should say had, depending on what happens towards the end, if it gets even worse. And then at the same time for Chongi, she goes home, she falls ill, she's worrying about Haram. But then when she wakes up, she tells her dad, the portrait that you drew, I'm going to finish it. So it was a nice intro to have Chongi really be serious in her position, you know, with just the music, seeing her walk, the slow-mo. Oh, that was perfect. Now it's interrogation time between Yang Myung and Haram. First, Yang Myung tells Haram everything that we already know. What happened on the day of the ritual, him falling into the water, the burning of the portrait, what happens when the demon controls him, you know, when his nails get like claw-like and all, all of that. And he tells Haram to attend the sealing ceremony, you know, it'll be helpful for everybody. Before their interrogation was over, Haram asked Yang Myung, Will Chongi will suffer the same fate like her dad? Because Haram did say to Yang Myung, the painter who painted the portrait of his grandfather was cursed on, which this type of news was new news to Yang Myung. And Haram wanted Yang Myung to cancel the restoration. And now Chongi, she has finished the first draft of the portrait. The king likes it. He thinks it's an amazing, amazing drawing that she did. And really calls her, wow, she really is the divine painter. And they were going to use it to basically put the ceiling talisman in it. It happened, but here's the thing. The talisman did not seep into the portrait. It basically jumped off of it and just faded away. And the king was informed that, yes, it is a beautiful portrait, but there is nothing divine about the painting. Later on, Yang Myung does tell Chongi, the talisman did not go into the painting because you were thinking about Haram. You need to forget about Haram so you can make a divine painting. I do want to talk about Ju Yang, but since we're still on the Chongi train, I hope that catches on. But anyway, since we're on her, we might as well continue with her and end with her. So after she attempts to try to sneak into the palace to try to see Haram, she gets caught goes to jail, but then Yang Myung realized, okay, fine, I'm going to take you to him. And these two finally meet face to face. The first time in this episode, since the beginning of this episode, she tells Haram it's not his fault that the demon is controlling him, it's hers, and tells her everything that the tiger spirit told her, that every time they touch, the demon comes out and hurts her. Even when Haram tells Chongi to stay away and never see each other again, she's not going to do it because she says it took so many years for these two to be reunited. So it's going to be all for nothing then. But then Haram gets reminded on what the old guy said to him in jail. The person you're going to meet tonight is going to save you or destroy you. This is when Haram asks Chongi for her hand and they both hold hands. And then we see a big flashing light, strong wind, and then end of episode. And then for Ju Yang, he's basically doing everything that Haram is telling him to do, even though he is one of the villains in this drama. But he's almost like, 
he's almost like a goon for some reason instead of a villain. So in this episode, he really doesn't do much other than just do what Haram says. So Haram, or I should really call him Ilwa Song, ordered Ju Yang to tell the royal uh, physician that the crown prince is ill and he's unconscious and really make a big, big issue about it. And it does become a big issue. This is where we get to the king, where some of his men kind of brought the issue that if the crown prince is ill, we should really think about the future because if something bad happens to the crown prince before the next crown prince is appointed, what are we going to do? So yeah, Ju Yang is just doing what Haram tells him to do at this point. So my impression on this episode, just like I said in the intro, just the tenseness is increasing, the, the suspense, the not knowing what our character's fate going to be. And of course, when you're watching anything, a TV show or a movie, not knowing is always the best part because you don't know what's going to happen. That's the thing. Yeah, it's cool if it's predictable, but it's not as fun. Um, for Ju Yang, <laughs> even though he's one of the villains, uh, he wants the throne. He'll do anything to get the throne, especially having the demon in him. But the fact that he's one of the bad guys, he's acting more like a goon, like a lackey, because he's doing the dirty work of Hadam. That's the thing. Well, I shouldn't say Hadam. I should say Ilwasong. <laughs> but yeah, he's acting more like a goon than a villain. Um, it's kind of funny because, you know, just seeing that type of situation, but it's also, it's like, isn't he supposed to be a villain? So he should be ordering instead of taking orders. Yeah, I remember Ilwa Song and Ju Yang are working together. But if you think about it, it's mostly Ju Yang doing Haram's dirty work. For the love triangle, we know it's there, but it's not really the main focus. And plus, we already know that Chongi, she's really in love with Haram and vice versa. So I guess the love triangle is there just to be there. I mean... I feel like this drama can do better without it, but if it's there, it's there. And, you know, it's really not much to say. It doesn't really drive anything other than just drive one character, and that's Yang Mil. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the review and the episode. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.